Good morning, Eastern View. It's a great day to be a Cyclone. Welcome to our daily news. Good morning, Cyclones. The following are your pre-recorded announcements for Tuesday, March 8th, 2022 at Eastern View High School. I'm Lexi. And I'm Abby. Para obtener una traducción completa de esta transmisión en español, visite el sitio web de nuestra escuela. Today's an A day. Before our broadcast begins, let's pause for a moment of silence. At this time, please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Summer registration is now open for Germana classes and fall registration opens April 1st. Contact our career coach, Mr. Johnson, for more information. Current and rising juniors must have a 3.0 GPA. Congratulations to the EVHS Concert Band for receiving straight superior ratings at their Concert Band Assessment. Go Cyclones! Good morning, Cyclones. Mr. Roach here with some exciting band news. About a week ago, eligible EVHS band students auditioned for placement in all Virginia band and orchestra. I'm very pleased to announce that Jack Steislinger earned 26th chair concert band on clarinet, Johnny Tull earned 11th chair concert band on trumpet, and Ian Larkin earned first chair symphonic band on trumpet, making him among the top trumpet players in the state of Virginia. These students will participate in the All Virginia Band and Orchestra event at Christopher Newport University on April 21st through the 23rd. Congratulations to these students. Additionally, this past Saturday, the EVHS Concert Band participated in the annual District Concert Band Assessment at Charlottesville High School. I am very pleased to announce that the EVHS Concert Band earned the highest rating of superior from each judge for their efforts. Way to go, band. EVHS will be participating in their own March Madness. Which classes can have the least amount of tardies for March? We will have a bracket tournament. If all classes can have zero tardies for the entire month of March, everyone will get rewarded. Football workouts will begin again on Monday, March 7th. Anyone interested in playing this fall is highly encouraged to join. We will be together Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. We will lift each day and be out on the field on Mondays and Wednesdays. Anyone interested in participating should see Coach Lowry in the weight room, Coach Brown in room 609, or Coach Hartle in room 403. The EVHS choirs will be performing in Connected, a pyramid concert, also featuring choirs from Floyd T. Benz Middle School and Pearl Sample Elementary School. The concert will be in the EVHS Auditorium at 6 p.m. Admission is free. Come out for a great night of music this Thursday. It's that time of year again. If you love to sing, dance, meet great people, and have fun, come sign up for the EVHS Choir. We have six choirs to choose from. Intro to Choir, Show Choir, Musical Theater, Artistic Choir, Women's a Cappella, Men's a Cappella, and Troubadours. If interested, please email Mrs. R at trichtar at ccpsweb.org. 
You may also sign up today on the choir door. Mrs. R will reach out to you about scheduling an audition. Please see Mrs. R with any questions. What are you waiting for? Sign up today. Choir to me means family. Um, just a place to really make you feel like you're part of something big. What choir means to me is um, a place where you can feel included and a place where you can come and just be yourself without anyone judging you or, you know, telling you what you're doing is stupid. Ready to go. Um, I, I enjoy choir because, like, you get to meet new people and it's fun. You get to do a bunch of different things, so. What choir means to me is having a place to belong, really. It's choir for me throughout my life and all of the different choirs I've been in. I've been in a lot. It's really just been, it feels like my home away from home. Everyone in choir is just so accepting and welcoming. Okay, hi, my name's Haley. And I'm Ainsley. And you should join choir because even though like it's a lot of hard work, it really pays off in the end. Um, and all of our sound, all of our songs usually <laughs> sound pretty good. And uh, we get to go to a lot of performances and do lots of things that are very fun. And um, I'm part of the choir exec board, um, so we get to make a lot of decisions for the choir. Um, and I met a lot of friends here. I think you should join choir because it's really fun, and you get to go on trips sometimes, and it's a pretty easy, laid-back class. But you also have to practice because. <laughs> We like to sound good, and we do sound good, and we sing fun music, and choir is so fun! I like the choir program because you grow with each other like throughout the years that you've been here. I've done choir since I was in seventh grade. I'm a senior now. Um, we all just treat each other like brothers and sisters, and it's fun because we get to go on like these trips and all that stuff, so you bond throughout the trips and throughout the choir concerts, so, yeah. I think that you guys should join choir because it is great for meeting new people. I met a lot of people through choir, and I love Miss R, and if you have a love for music and a love for learning, I think choir is an amazing choice for you, no matter what choir you decide to do. Choir is like a family. It's the only class that I come to school for. It's the only reason I came to school today, honestly. Um, every year that I've been in school, I've been in choir, and it's I look forward to it every single day. I personally enjoy choir because it feels almost like a second home within this school. There's a, a lot of people who care about you know, me just by being here. You know, you really relate to these people, and we also like sing like these pieces and get to learn like these artistic forms of emotional expression. And it's just. It's a lot of fun and it has like a very like big emotional hold for me personally and I hope it's the same for you guys. I guess I originally joined choir because I mean I love to sing but once I did join I saw how much of a family choir was, how people got to know each other and grow close together and it wasn't just about singing anymore it was just having fun and living your high school life to the fullest.
The 2022-2023 class registration is now open from today, Monday, March 7th, through Friday, March 18th. In order to get started, please go to the Eastern View website and click on Departments and go to the Student Services webpage. The Student Services webpage, click the 2022-2023 class registration page. Here is some valuable information on how to help guide you in planning for next school year. You will find the Program of Studies link here to help you plan for courses as well as information on the courses available to you at the CTEC building. When you're ready to register, you will go to Parent Portal, and on Parent Portal, you'll sign in and select the Class Registration tab. Once here, you will have this page, and you will see all the areas that you need to register for. Once you've selected classes, they will populate in the box next to the course subject. So for science, for example, I haven't selected a course. I know this because there is an exclamation point here telling me I haven't done it. I will select the pencil, and from here, they'll show the courses available to me for my grade level. If there isn't a box available for the class, look at the alert and you'll see that I have not met the prerequisite to take biology honors. Under the alerts is also where I will see teacher recommendations for my next level. Once I see what class I'm going to take, I will select it, and then I will scroll down and select OK. And now that course will populate on the side. We need to have eight courses for a full schedule. So there's a course count at the bottom of this page. As you can see, I only have six credits. I need to select two more. So this is where I will go to the electives and I will go through my elective choices and select the appropriate number of electives. Once I have my course selections of eight, I will also need to select some alternates because as we know, schedule conflicts are a big possibility. So we wanna know what kind of alternates you would be happy with if you did not get your first choice. And so you will need to select about two or three alternates that gives your counselor something to work with when building your schedule. And once you've completed that, you are done with scheduling. If you need further help or not sure what to take, Look in your Google Classroom for your grade level, and it has been shared with you a class registration worksheet that provides you all the available classes for your grade level and elective choices. If you need further help, please sign up to see your counselor or email them or come by and visit us. In the EB Cafe today, our lunch menu features jelly wrap or pizza, broccoli and french fries and fruit or juice. Tomorrow's breakfast will also be breakfast pizza and fruit or juice. All students can receive a free breakfast and lunch for the school year. You will need money to purchase snack items. We cannot take money at lunch, so anyone putting money on their account must do so in the mornings at breakfast or online at www.myschoolbucks.com. All students must report directly to the cafeteria for lunch. Students are not allowed to hang out in the hallway or anywhere else in the building during their scheduled lunch shift. That's all for the morning announcements. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay informed about what's going on at Eastern View. Until next time, take care, make it a great day or not, the choice is yours.